And welcome to Stamford Bridge for our live First Division soccer this afternoon. It is Chelsea against Liverpool, a team that was at the top of the table but has now fallen on hard times in terms of gathering points against a team that's hoping to rehabilitate itself and take a charge at the top of the table. Chelsea's lineup, a few, few changes after some bad results recently, only two points collected from their last four games, a possible 12. They have three changes in the side. Kenneth Moncow comes back after injury for Erland Johnson in defence. Johnny Bumstead continuing in the midfield for Peter Nicholas. Gordon Jury is back at place of Kevin Wilson after a hernia operation. And Clive Wilson is in for Mickey Hazard. Liverpool, John Barnes still not back. Steve Staunton is injured. Barry Venison comes in at left back for him. Alan Hansen returns to the heart of the defence. And Jan Mulby moves forward to where John Barnes would normally play. The game is on and Chelsea all in blue are playing from right to left. And a long ball forward by Clark. And out of play of Gary Ablett, who's immediately slotted into the left-back position with Barry Venison at right-back. Hussain and Hansen, the two central defenders for Liverpool. Steve McMahon. And Ablett once more to give a first touch to Bruce Grobelar. It hasn't been a particularly good month for Stevie Clark, the new captain of Chelsea and uh, the Chelsea team themselves losing their last two matches against Wimbledon and Queen's Park Rangers and before that in the league they'd drawn at Manchester United and at home to Southampton but the resumption of this man Kenneth Moncow in the defence might stiffen things up he was hurt in the defeat by Wimbledon and was missing against Queen's Park Rangers they need the Dutch under 21 international at the back that's Beersley it's cut out by Roberts and then it was Bobu out and trying to find him and succeeding but the Chelsea defence was firm, and that's Moncao with a nice piece of play to Tony Dorigo. And Dorigo looking for Gordon Jury. Jury got the flick on there, but it went straight to Gary Ablett. Unpleasant afternoon in the West End of London. It's got through to Beardsley. Besson goes down, still Beardsley. But the flag was up for offside. And free kick to Chelsea. And the first opportunity to call in John Giles. Well, sometimes it's a good thing when you have the top of the table team or the most, uh, the best team in England coming to you and you've had a bad run. And Chelsea have had a bad run in the last few weeks. But it sometimes picks the players, pick the players up. They've got some good players, and really they should just get stuck into them for today. Chelsea have the throw, and at Stamford Bridge this afternoon, despite the attractions of the Christmas shopping, there's still 38,000 sellouts to see this top of the table match. It's Gordon Jury. That's hit long towards Kerry Dixon. Dixon's head got there and Dickens goes in and Ablett is able to clear it but straight to Clark and now Whelan and what a perceptive ball by Ronnie Whelan to release Mulby from that defensive position one back by John Bumstead Clark and Bumstead once more Roberts forward cut out there by McMahon from him now it's Clive Wilson Wilson once more and played through the middle for Dixon and that was meant to try to get big Rock David Lee onto it but Dixon's pass was not quite good enough and the Liverpool defence snapped shut Beardsley making a run and he's beaten the offside trap this time Beardsley against Besant and Peter Beardsley is in and there's number one for Liverpool three minutes gone and Peter Beardsley opens the Liverpool account a superbly timed run to beat the offside trap Barry Venison saw the looping run picked up Beardsley who stormed onto that Besant committed himself and once you're down you're beaten and in went Beardsley to pick his spot a superb finish and three minutes have gone and Chelsea are behind 
and the Viking teams keep playing the offside are just doing that now there's absolutely no need to try and play the offside there all those four Chelsea players back and one of them had to pick up Beersley it's, it's a simple simple thing because once you cut out like that Beersley's got to run on the keeper and I must say Besson wasn't too good uh, coming out there he came out very quickly and made it very easily for Beersley who, who likes that uh, situation he's very quick good control and once he went past the keeper he kept his head very well and knocked her into a good uh, into the goal easily but why Chelsea are playing offside I just do not know so Peter Beardsley, who began his season by scoring in the charity shield at Wembley against Arsenal the only goal that day back in August notches up his 10th of the season at Stamford Bridge and that really was bad defending by Chelsea that enabled them to get in Kenneth Moncar the central defender was part of that back four that was found out by a rather naive application of the offside trap that's another one of Graham Roberts now the player coach here at Stamford Bridge it's on towards Jury Hussain he's got the touch to it to help it back to Gravelo Whelan and that's for Rush to chase and Roberts has been found out for pace here and Rush oh what a goal what a superb goal by Ian Rush and Chelsea's flat back four caught out again five minutes gone and the New England international goalkeeper Dave Messon is exposed once more Whelan it was with that superb through ball Rush beat Roberts for pace and this, an exquisite chip beat Besant and that's 2-0 well, very simple for Liverpool really and uh, it's no wonder that Chelsea have lost the goals that they have lost in the last few weeks because Ronnie Whelan really wasn't in such a good position when he received the ball, he was very deep and uh, it was a good ball for Ronnie but uh, there's no way a defender should have come out like that especially against somebody at the pace of Rush he's also got to give him a, got to give him a step and uh, it was very easy for Rush but once he got there, excellent chip Again, Besson may be rushing out a little bit too quickly, but Rush is deadly in those positions and uh, delightful chip. But Chelsea are making it very easy for Liverpool. That's two forward passes, really. There were only hopeful ones uh, that, that good defenders should have cut out, and that at Liverpool through for two goals. A good Liverpool credit. Uh, Pierce is taking his well, and so is Rush, and uh, that's all they're worried about. Well, Kenny Dalgleish may not look a happy man, but surely he is deep down. Two goals to the good so early in the game Bobby Campbell the Chelsea manager said to his players a fortnight ago after they went down 5-2 on this ground to Wimbledon that they had to stop making stupid and fundamental errors at the back that pro footballers shouldn't make well he said that it was quoted in today's match programme and they could be saying something similar after tonight but from what I can see George it's very basic all the defenders have to do is give the forwards a yard or two on the goal side which is you don't need to be a genius of a defender to do that and I think what Chelsea are trying to do is push up early and try and catch Liverpool offside uh, which is I think a lot of teams do it and I, I never can never will understand it you've got good defenders like Roberts and uh, Lee well then they just got to defend and give themselves a yard or two start for the through ball should never be beaten like that Clyde Wilson picked out Domingo with a good ball here and Domingo trying to turn Benison there's his cross and it was Hussein's header straight back to Wilson Bumstead. And we get Dixon in, Hussein out again, and Liverpool settle it down. And for Roby to chase, but Roberts has plenty of time to take command. Steve Clark on the ball as Roby makes it back to his midfield position. Out and out. is really in some disarray at this stage all clustered together and not terribly aware of their responsibilities it would appear the match is just eight minutes old and 
in it and the two previous matches Chelsea have now conceded 11 goals there's Robert's head Dorigo coming back and putting pressure on Besson and the ball went out of play and it's a corner it really isn't Chelsea's day firmly stuck back pass Besson went down but sliding on the top couldn't keep it in play and now it's played back to McMahon and that's an own goal almost cleared away then and Beardsley with the return shot unable to put it under the target but once again the Chelsea defence at sixes and sevens and Liverpool very nearly forcing a way through McMahon playing it into the danger zone and the best of his own of that place. I think once you lose a goal early on like they did which was very simple confidence goes uh, right throughout the side without getting a start to the match they haven't really started Chelsea the two goals down and especially at the back now and they've made a couple of errors the confidence does go Pierce had a good chance there I fancy him outside his right foot he's usually very good in that position and he just pulled across the goal Jury and Danica bounced it and snatched at it and it went too high well it's certainly given us the recipe for a bright open afternoon of football Chelsea have got a attempt to get at them Liverpool with a two goal cushion already I think it's difficult enough playing against Liverpool uh, without giving them a two-goal start because they're the type of team that can tie the game up if they get the ball back to Hansen and uh, Hussain at the back they can really play it round and get it back to Grobler and really kill the game I don't think they should do I think it's too early to try and do that they should try and go and get the other goal and really kill the game off but Chelsea have a lot to do but they've got some good players they've got Jury and Dixon up front who are always capable of getting a goal so they're not out of it by any means yet Clyde Wilson and it's come to Houghton and Houghton's played it forward for Beersley the touchline comes first. That's on from Kerry Dixon towards Jury. Jury was fouled by Hansen. The legal use of the arm there. Gordon Jury making just his fifth appearance of the season he was out since uh, early September had an operation for a hernia and is back in the side today at the expense of Chelsea's top scorer Kevin Wilson now uh, can he open his account he's there Tony Arrigo's there and that's Roberts in the wall it's Jury to blast it on a goal Great shot, he hit it well, and uh, back in the game again. What an outstanding shot from Gordon Jury. He's only had a, a goal before this, before his, his injury. He's had a 2-2 draw against Nottingham Forest here on September the 9th, which was in fact the last match he played in before his operation. So on both sides of his absence, he celebrates with a goal. Jury once more. Now it's Ablett. And Jury might be in here. Grobelar forced to dive. Ablett unaware of the lurking menace. Venison. Towards Peter Beardsley. Come on, Carl back. But Beardsley has him beaten. And McMahon. Played wide for Ablett. Mulby. And Ablett had thought about coming back. Not able to get the cross in, but gets the corner off Clark. Gary 
the Ablett. A strong forward run there that's given Liverpool a good attacking position. And Ray Houghton, as usual, will take the corner on the far side. Glenn Hussain is on the edge of the penalty area. Same for his head. Moncao made the contact. It's back again towards Houghton. He's unable to keep it in play. But it wouldn't have mattered anyway because an offside decision had been given. It's the Rigo, Alan Dickens, Venison, McMahon, a loose one from him. Clive Wilson, Kerry Dixon. Dixon tried a loop it over Grobelar, and it just wouldn't come down soon enough. Chelsea deserve the credit for coming back at Liverpool. They're not going to lie down and take it. Some circumstances in which to try to put an end to an unconvincing run. Dropping, oh, bad goal kick by Grobelar. Dropping those points has taken them down from the top of the table to seventh position. Two points out of a possible 12 they've got in their last four matches, and they can really do with some points here this afternoon. Chelsea it's Bumstead against Whelan now it's Dixon Jury Roberts only there for Chelsea minutes of the contest gone at Stamford Bridge it's Chelsea 1, Liverpool 2 Chelsea trying to claw their way back from a two goal deficit which arose as early as the fifth minute that's found its way through to Houghton and he's onside Houghton awaits for help Roby was coming but there were too many blue shirts around and has no brought the corner Besant has some organising to do and Houghton will take the corner from the right as well Roby in the middle of the box Hussein there too contact that he made wasn't the one he intended Clark there was no Chelsea man forward Chelsea certainly got the goal at the right time uh, for themselves to bring themselves back into it because uh, when you lose two goals like that or give two goals away early on you don't have to go too long without getting back into the game and uh, because the game really hadn't settled down Besson hadn't made a save and nothing really happened uh, and you find yourself two goals down this is Dickens in my tablet the ball has gone out for a throw to Chelsea Ablett none the worse for that the referee that it was not on toward. kick against John Bolstead. It's Gary Abbott with an aim perhaps for Ian Rush. Feels he made a run towards the wing and that's he in possession now. A cumbersome challenge by Robert Lee. David Lee rather and it's uh, Liverpool with another free kick. Beardsley. 
And rush for the free header. And Graham Roberts had to come to the rescue. Astonishing lapse in front of Dave Besson there. The free kick came in. You can't afford to do things like that. That's just a simple free kick that's come across the box. And really rush it a good chance to, to knock that into the back of the net. And that's again basic stuff. You shouldn't uh, you should never lose or look like losing guys with that as a well organised first division team. This is uh, found its way through to Hansen. Nothing in that particular episode for Gordon Jury. used to Chelsea if it goes all the way through to Bruce Grobelar. Alan Hansen, the captain. Whelan's gone on a run. Hansen tried to pick him out, but the pass was too long. So influential these days for Liverpool. And the captain decided in Hansen's absence. Clark. Lee. Clark again. And Lee once more. The big man loves coming forward. And Lee with the shot. And Grobelar making the save at the second attempt. Big David Lee loves to come steaming forward. And that was all of his creation. The shot wasn't a bad one either at the finish. Robolar got down well. And took two attempts to hold it. Chelsea come again. Kerry Dixon. Hansen with him. And Dixon's got the pace to get round Hansen. But Robolar dropping the ball has given away an unnecessary corner. Good strong run by Kerry Dixon. And Hansen's lack of pace in that situation was exposed. Chelsea now have a very good opportunity to get back on terms midway through the first half. David Lee going up to join the attack. And Moncar up there too as Clive Wilson takes the corner, headed out by Venison. Clive Wilson once more. Up goes the head of Hansen to win it. And Beardsley to prevent another corner. And Roberts unaware that McMahon was behind him. Now it's Rush. And Rush taking on Clark and finds Houghton who's onside. Houghton against Besant. And there's number three. And Ray Houghton's first goal of the season comes as Chelsea's back four stands indicted again. It's far too simple for you. It's for Liverpool and Ray Houghton. There's a ball on the far side of the box. I think it's Wilson over the Rigo. He was taking a step out. 
again, uh, I think it was the left back in the left back position to put somebody offside instead of playing it on its merits because Houghton was always free down the right hand side. And that's why it looks so simple with uh, Chelsea losing the goals from nothing. That was a long ball uh, by Beardsley. It shouldn't have been any real danger, and uh, Rush finished up getting a break. But as Rush, uh, Rush made a break forward, one of the Chelsea players stepped out, and then it left uh, Houghton free. And Houghton took it exceptionally well once he got into that position. And uh, Besson came running out again, little chip over the top. Uh, a la Rush. Brilliant goal. Great play by Liverpool. If Chelsea are willing to make the mistakes, then they've got to take, uh, Liverpool are taking, certainly taking advantage of it. today there was another basic one in the centre circle in the build up to that goal when Graham Roberts was unaware of the man Steve McMahon on his blind side but Liverpool are certainly no team to spurn opportunities when presented 25 minutes gone 3-1 to the Reds Clive Wilson Kerry Dixon and Garrigo in support. Wilson again. Roberts. Dixon with the header into the danger zone, but Jury hadn't moved far enough forward. Chelsea do get going and get passing the ball around. They look quite dangerous because uh, Dixon up front is very lively and looks to have the legs on Hansen. But uh, You've got to defend as well as attack, and if, if uh, Chelsea are going to give goals away like that, well, then no matter how many, how well they're doing up front, it won't be any good. Madison clearing it, but George Courtney, the referee, has said that uh, Jury's feet were high there, and he's given a free kick against the Chelsea player. Free kick to Liverpool. Chelsea have to regroup it. Interesting that they should be conceding so many goals. They play five across the back with Moncar as a sort of spare man. But five men in front of Dave Besson aren't having the desired effect by any manner of means. Beardsley. And Beardsley's still there, but straight at Besson. Peter Beardsley certainly reveling in these opportunities presented by an untuned Chelsea defence. Ablett. Melbury. Whelan. And that's for McMahon. Benison. Looking towards Rush. But it's Roberts for Chelsea. Steve Clark. Again, and play a wasted opportunity. Well, Chelsea have sagged again since the last goal, and that's what goals do to a side. The teams that score them, it really boosts them, and scored it, teams that lose them get really dejected. And Liverpool, uh, Chelsea are very dejected at the moment. A clinical finish by Liverpool, absolutely brilliant. Once they get into goal scoring positions, they didn't give uh, Best a touch of the ball. McMahon Clive Wilson attempted to dispossess Besant there's nobody there did I say Besant? I meant Benison of course Back to Grumbler. 
of the big Swedish defender now a fixture at the centre of the Liverpool defence that's Beardsley Melbu on Carr in the way so Liverpool players just look that half yard faster don't they and of course of the confidence that the 3-1 lead gives you Ray Houghton Beardsley this time Lee gone with him still it's Peter Beardsley after Ligo getting back making the tackle the throw results Benison Whelan and once more Benison Called towards Rush Canada Mulby and has gone for a goal kick half an hour of this match is gone and Liverpool are in command Chelsea in desperate need of some inspiration goals from Beardsley Rush and Houghton to a superbly struck free kick by Gordon Jury given the scoreboard its present look it's Bumstead beating Whelan now it's Clive Wilson Bumstead again Clive Wilson and Dorigo Poor final ball once more. Torigo not very much part of the England squad for the World Cup. McMahon to Mulby. McMahon. Hussein. And Venison. As long as Liverpool have the ball, Chelsea can't score. Benison. Ball to Houghton. And Whelan for Rush. And Houghton once again. Couldn't find a way through there, but they just toyed with Chelsea until they found the opening and then they went through. Free kick against Venison. Foul on Kerry Dixon here. Chelsea at all. I think the goals that uh, Liverpool have in hand give them the license to, to play the way they were playing. They can play it around the back, they can be patient, they, if necessary, they can pass it back to Grobola. But they're also looking for the opening up front with Beardsley and uh, Rush looking very sharp. But if the worst comes to the worst, they can always play it around and then uh, just play out time, even from here. And Chelsea got to get the ball back. And Chelsea now are desperate to get forward and they're kicking long balls and really just playing into Liverpool's hands. There's another of them, which has again resulted in Liverpool possession. Mulby. Man for Ablett. Hansen. And back to Hussein. Barry Venison. And Alan Hansen once more. really is up to Chelsea to come and get it back Whelan offside against Peter Beardsley now Bumstead Clive Wilson Bumstead towards Dixon well it very nearly worked on that occasion Sundar Hussein misjudged it but Dixon couldn't quite capitalise on it Optimistic sort of ball from Ray Houghton, resulting in a Chelsea throw. And once again, Chelsea have given the possession away. Again, 
Rush making the forward run, but he'd been covered, so it's Whelan to Venison. Rush this time. Roberts clattering in from behind, and that's a free kick to Liverpool. Liverpool are really string, stringing the pass together. And look at the length of time they had the ball in relation to when Chelsea got it, who are looking to get forward too early. They have to with two goals down, um, and it's difficult to keep giving the ball to Liverpool, and it's taking them ages to get it back then. Whelan taking the free kick to Ablett. McMahon. It's Beardsley, it's now McMahon again. And Ablett. Moby. Liverpool really do see the road in the ball, don't they? Whelan. And they've all the options open to them. Whenever problems arise. Some occasions like that when Alan Hansen gave the ball away. Chelsea's desperation evident in the football they're playing. Rushed. Unconsidered. And prone to lose possession. Venison. Houghton. Venison again. Whelan. Uncharacteristic. Loose pass from Ronnie Whelan. It's now Alan Dickens. Clark. Julie. Now Dickens. Again, the move breaks down. Hussein. Moby offside against Peter Beardsley. And they're persisting with the tactic despite the fact that it's cost them at least a couple of the goals. I think Liverpool will be worth a while now, really going at Chelsea, trying to get another goal. So they're just playing it around a little bit and take the extra pass and they're giving it away without really getting a shot on the goals uh, and I think they should play the game as if they're the goal down and look to get out Chelsea because Chelsea are vulnerable at the back uh, but the way they're playing it they can play it around all day and it's up to Chelsea to get the ball back from them but you can't blame Liverpool for that it's not easy for Chelsea to get it with Lisa Hansen and Hussain or uh, Houghton and Whelan it's very difficult to get the ball back again Houghton's on the ball now They have it back with David Lee. Well, that's how things are going for another London club. The league leaders are still in position to claim three more points. Not the glum, Mr. Campbell made my day when I actually had to unlock the gate to let him in to Stamford Bridge an hour before the kickoff. Maybe he wishes he'd remained locked out. I was just going to say that, George. <laughs> Maybe you haven't done him any favours today. Hanson. Abner. And that's played forward for Rush. Continued his run. Beardsley is in the middle for him. That's Bumstead with him. Now Moby. Houghton's made a little run forward. It's Ablett. Crossing towards Beardsley. Mont Carraway. Whelan. Delivered directly back to Ablett. Houghton. Well played by Ray Houghton. Somehow Chelsea shut the door. Hiding Chelsea again at the moment. They're getting an absolute lesson and uh, they look a little bit dejected. And when they're in the position that they're in, they've just got to work that little bit harder, a lot harder, to get the ball back again. But they're standing off Liverpool, they're letting them play it, and uh, no better team to really make them pay for that. So Chelsea got to work harder, get their spirits up again, and get going again. Try and get the ball back off Liverpool. Dickens. It's not a particularly good ball to Dorigo. Carr. Man. 
finding Clark. Moncarras continued into the attack. And Clark plays it forward to him again. Now perhaps something for Chelsea. Moncarras cross. Dixon up there. But Dixon was pushing Barry Venison. And a free kick to Liverpool is what results. A good strong run forward by the big defender trying to show his attacking teammates quite how they should do it. And a booming cross that ended with Kerry Dixon fouling his man. Hansen. play towards Beardsley Beardsley's still there but that's back with Pessons Clive Wilson Dixon cut out by Hussein Clive Wilson again Domingo supporting outside and Chelsea give it away. You know, wonders at this phase of the game, with Liverpool so dominant and keeping the possession, quite how much Chelsea might be missing uh, the influence of Peter Nicholas, their skipper, a regular skipper in the midfield, injured a fortnight ago against Wimbledon here, and has since had a cartilage operation. His influence in the midfield is steel. At a time like this, might be invaluable. Wilson for Dorigo. And Dorigo with the first time cross. Dickens. Killed by Venison. And now Jury blocked by McMahon. Dickens going in. Clark is down injured. And the Chelsea skipper is up. As Chelsea continued, but that's too close to Bruce Gravelar. Kerry Dixon made the running up the right but the cross to finish it all off was not of the highest order I think what Chelsea have to do George and not they missed Nicholas who was a good tackler but really they're giving the Liverpool defenders like Hansen and uh, Hussain too much room on the ball too much time at the ball because they've got an extra man at the back but that's no good to them uh, when there's the three one down and what they've got to do is push uh, one of the defenders forward and one of the midfield players forward to get out Hussain and uh, Hansen and hurry them up a little bit not give them as much time on the ball if Liverpool can take all day in it 3-1 nothing they can take all day in it whereas Chelsea got to get it back got to get after them a bit more Homestead Jury Dickens against Madison Houghton the sensible ball in that circumstance That's what I'm talking about. I see the time Hansen has on the ball now. Really, Chelsea players should be getting getting at him. There's just Fenderson. There's, there's an extra Chelsea player at the back. And Liverpool doing much as they please. It's a free kick they've won here for pushing. Just uh, two and a half minutes to half time. All the Chelsea players will look forward to it for the respite it'll give them whether they'll dread it for the tongue lashing they're certain to get from their manager in the interval Ablett is taking up ever more forward positions now Mulby Ablett again so he's enjoying this game the left back Mulby beaten by Dickens throw to Liverpool Russian Beardsley in the penalty area. And that's set towards Ablett. The results in another throw. In fact, the whistle had gone for a free kick to Chelsea. Roberts. Well, he's not having the best of games today, Graham Roberts. Chelsea have visited all of this on themselves.
Hines and uh, Hussein made some room for himself. Madison. Now Hussein. Madison. Chelsea win it back. Dickens. Dixon to Wilson. Homestead. Wilson again. Dorigo. And Wilson. There's not a great deal of movement for him. There are three players all together on the edge of the penalty area. None of them offering a, a genuine target for him. Now Jury. Dorigo. And Drabalar having to make an acrobatic stop. a slight deflection of a Liverpool boot there Grubbelar's handling was safe and secure we're in the final minute of the first half Chelsea beginning to come to life a little more Roberts pass not a good one able to beat Rush on that occasion now Lee back by Whelan and McMahon together and it's Rush Beardsley and Houghton are up with him that's for Beardsley and Carroll got there first so we move into the time that George Courtney is adding on for stoppages no injuries in the first half and Liverpool comfortably in command and there is the half-time whistle Liverpool taking early control through Peter Beardsley's opening goal and then two minutes later Ian Rush was in for number two a splendid free kick from Gordon Jury brought it back to 2-1 after 12 minutes but 23 minutes gone and Ray Houghton was in for a superb little goal to leave it comfortably in front for Liverpool half time at Stamford Bridge it's Chelsea 1, Liverpool 3 to Stamford Bridge the second half is exactly 10 seconds old it's uh, Chelsea defending the goal to our left Liverpool 3-1 to the good Ian Rush scorer of their second goal and not a very happy afternoon for Chelsea at all has the halftime team talk worked the oracle or will Liverpool continue where they left off on top Roberts showing Kenny Douglas that is that he's adept at fielding the ball there we go and if he's saying now it's Whelan and Clive Wilson and now it's Bumstead Jury it again, trying to find a way through here Whelan denying him only Whelan there to make the important challenge and yet again and it's Clark certainly Chelsea have begun the second half with a little more vim and pace in their play Hansen Beardsley Challenged by Marcou. That's Whelan again. Houghton. Rush laid on for Beardsley. And Beardsley pulled down. And that is a penalty. And Graham Roberts exposed again for pace. Claiming that he made the challenge outside the area. But I think uh, the geometry has gone a little wrong there as far as Graham Roberts is concerned. Peter Beardsley can well afford to smile. It was definitely in the area. It was definitely a penalty. Beardsley knocking the ball away. Down he goes inside the area. And this should be number four for Liverpool. Jan Milby against Besant. Oh, what a save. Should be number four, but isn't. But so at last, something has gone right for Chelsea. That's the first save that Besant has made. And uh, he's been beaten three times. And that is a vital. It's good picked his spot but uh, and went early uh, Besson but he's a good save he is good at those those penalties big fella he spreads himself well that's a vital penalty for Liverpool should have put the, the game way beyond it may, be, way, it may well be that it's way beyond uh, Chelsea's reach anyway but that would certainly confirm it uh, if he sticks that penalty home 
Mulby you know, hasn't really been on his game during the day. He's, he doesn't really look fit to me. He looks overweight again. Uh, and I'm not blaming that for his for uh, missing the penalty. But uh, it really is a big one for Liverpool. That, that game is really finished. It's going down. Well, it should have been number four. You shouldn't miss penalties, but Dave Besson was equal to the task. And Chelsea are still in this, if only just. But yet again, it was Graham Roberts' lack of pace that caused the problem. Beardsley was through. Roberts felt he had no alternative but to bring him down. Well, that helped Chelsea's confidence. making a little run it's rolled for McMahon too many blue shirts around now it's Abbott Beardsley still it's Beardsley on one of those mazy dribbles of his and Besant down to make the save to date on the League of Ireland situation in the Open League tomorrow Dundalk against Drogheda is now off, that match postponed but uh, Pats and Galway that is on so that's the very latest information concerning Open League of Ireland fixtures They're in the first division of the English League, four minutes of the second half gone Liverpool maybe should have been 4-1 up, but are still just 3-1 up against Chelsea I think what's disappointing about Chelsea today is the lack of fire. There's no fire about them. They're getting beaten 3 1, and when Liverpool get the ball, they're still having a stroll. And uh, if I were Bobby Campbell, that, that's right, we'd be disappointed about more than anything else. They're not getting after Liverpool, they're not making it difficult for them. And uh, it's really a stroll for Liverpool but when they have it. There should be a bit of fire about them and getting into them and get at them and try and pull the goals back. Ablett with the throw. No bit. Medicine. Rush. Beardsley and McMahon. Oh, what a lovely move by Liverpool. McMahon against Besant. And McMahon shows he can do it too. That was absolutely brilliant and fully deserved the finish it got. And last time we saw Steve McMahon, he did it at Manchester City. Now he's done it again at Stamford Bridge. Best again is coming out. He's doing everything right there. He can't do it anymore. Really brilliant finish by, by McMahon. Once McMahon gets in that position, uh, like the other players, Houghton and even Rush has chipped it over him. And great stuff from uh, Liverpool, there's no doubt about that. It's not their fault that Chelsea are not playing as well as they should, and they're not making it as difficult as they should. They're going about their job well. They've missed the penalty, they're still 4 1 up, and Kenny Dalglish has got to be very pleased with this. Absolutely brilliant display. A brilliant display of finishing. That's a midfield player, that's Houghton and McMahon, two midfield players, have gone through and finished uh, as well as Russia Beersley could do. Great stuff from Liverpool. Steve McMahon. Very much hero at the moment, it matters not a whip now that Liverpool missed that penalty McMahon with less the balance three goals between his team and Chelsea there's such a good goal there it's Lee Dixon is wheeled away Clyde Wilson making ground through the middle Dixon has to contend himself with the corner I think it's got to be said too that Roberts has been the weak link for Chelsea. You know, George has said his lack of pace and uh, really should have turned and had a go at uh, McMahon there, but I think he stopped hoping to get an offside and he was never offside. Rush beat him for pace and he hasn't looked comfortable at all in the heart of that defence. Guy <laughs> Wilson with the corner. That one was a big jury. Wilson again. And that was Pumps. There was Kerry Dixon in the middle of it all. But a goal kick to Liverpool is what results. Yeah. 
frustrating afternoon for Kerry Dixon, I'm sure. Robbala seriously troubled only by that free kick that must have passed his ear. Gordon Jolie. is being allowed to lapse because they're really not being put under any pressure at all. Here's Ronnie Whelan. The save. Well, here's the McMahon goal again. Rush to Beardsley to McMahon. Poetry in motion. First touch every time, and even first touch here. Such an exquisite first touch to put it home. Now it's four, and the game is 54 minutes old. Dorigo. Jury. Cut out by Hussein. Jury again. Going nowhere. Well, they're a bit demoralised, there's no doubt about that, Chelsea. And again, you see the replay of the goal. Robert stood, stood perfectly still. Once the ball was played from Bridge, I think, onto McMahon. Uh, instead of making an effort to get back to McMahon, he just stopped, uh, stopped dead. And uh, really, that's a sign that the team's getting hiding. And Roberts was definitely a fault again there. again and from McMahon to Houghton rush fouled by Moncar good position for Liverpool this and the raising the ball McMahon and Moby there as well Dickens and Kai Wilson the world. Worth a shot from Mulder here. There's a bit of a wind blowing out there and it's behind uh, it's behind Liverpool. And it's McMahon who strikes it. And that's a corner. And John written over his face. Clipped the wall on the way through. Sailed over Besson's crossbar. And that's Liverpool's corner. There's an indication of the wind, which is firmly behind Liverpool. Houghton, Beardsley, Houghton again. McMahon couldn't control it, but Whelan is there. And Whelan getting the shot in! And not very far away at all. And another corner. Ronnie Whelan's shot also deflected. Besson beaten. And another corner to Liverpool results. We might have seen the end of the scoring yet. Houghton to Beardsley again. And Houghton once more. Easily beat his man. And there's the cross. Hussein trying to get up to it. Whelan, McMahon. Beardsley. Moncow away. Throw to Liverpool. Well, the Liverpool players are actually enjoying themselves out there now. I think they know there's no danger from... Uh... Chelsea and it's just a matter of trying to get any more goals and look for any more goals. They're certainly enjoying themselves, they're relaxed now 
which is not happening in first division matches you can relax that much and enjoy it as much as Liverpool should be able to enjoy it now here's Roberts Domingo Jury Jury was just fouled by Ray Houghton free kick to Chelsea Kenneth Moncal on the 18 yard line as Clive Wilson leaves the free kick to Tony Dorigo cleared by Steve McMahon goals at Highbury too and Arsenal the better off there the league leaders in command and the second place team of the league looked like staying in touch here at Stamford Bridge Kevin Wilson Chelsea's top scorer on the bench I wonder if he feels he might have been able to make a more positive contribution to the cause but sadly it's not really striking problems that Chelsea have but problems at the back which Moldy is exposing here and as Roberts caught out again free kick and another good position to Liverpool a straighting afternoon for Chelsea's player coach Moby and Ablett are the two players together it's Ablett taking it and Beardsley totally unmarked here's Beardsley again well, I think he could scarcely believe his good fortune there well, if Beardsley had hit that first time from the free kick, it wouldn't have been uh, wouldn't have been far off target. It's good, a good free kick because Ablett pushed it to him. I think he could have hit it first time and taken his chance on it. He just tried to stop it and then uh, uh, set himself up. There's so much of control, Liverpool. It's, it's just untrue. McMahon, Venison, Rush losing out to Wilson. Now it's Whelan. Ablett. He's been very prominent in this game. Moby. Hansen. Well, the arrogance beginning to shine through in Jan Moby's approach. It has brought Liverpool right back to their own penalty area. A big strong lad. A great Dane. Rambo. Not going to be knocked off the ball that easily. really is taking on the dimensions of a practice match for Liverpool now Houghton and Beardsley just caught offside fortunately for Chelsea well, it's humiliating stuff for Chelsea now unless they really got to get their pride back and get working at it and make it difficult uh, for them a bit more difficult at the back for Liverpool because they'll just it'll be exhibition stuff from Liverpool and they'll, they'll finish up strolling through for another goal that was another indication of a Graham Roberts free kick going straight to Ray Houghton Jury fouled free kick to Chelsea now here two men to form up it's not exactly the right position from which to strike a shot for goal Clyde Wilson in goes Moncao and Grovola makes the save well Kenneth Moncao had gone up into a striking position as he tends to do at these free kicks Wilson picked him out well but Grovola did equally well Difficult header for a goalkeeper to deal with. Down and into the turf and bounce anywhere. Roberts once more. In the heat of the action. Seemed like a little push there by Hussein. The referee didn't 
can't see it as such. Tablet. Welby. One card beating Rush, but it's come to Beardsley. Ablett. Welby. Oh, easily dispossessed there by Alan Dickens. Dixon. And one through the middle by Ty Wilson, which came to naught. It's been so frustrating to play against this, but Liverpool are really having it more or less all their own way. Dickens, Jury, and two runners. Clark. That was Bumstead, and Jury's through here. And Jury brilliantly tipped away by Grobelar. Gordon Jury opting to try and curl it to the outside of his boot around the Liverpool goalkeeper. Well, that was a great save by Bruce Grobelar, arching up and back and knocking it away. And Clive Wilson with the corner. Rigo. Malkar was up there. And Lee. And David Lee perhaps not quite aware of where he should be aiming aimed instead at an advertising hoarding and the danger was passed Liverpool have gone a little bit slack now they're really getting bored with the, with the game which is wrong as well they should really pick it up now and keep it going and keep the passing nice and crisp uh, and look to get look to make progress rather than just playing it around look for another goal minutes of the second half gone Chelsea 1 Liverpool 4 another highly convincing away performance by the Anfield Reds saw them a fortnight ago winning by exactly the same scoreline at Manchester City that was a bottom of the table team this team they're playing against today has pretensions did indeed lead the first division but has now slipped to seventh place on the back of four and different results make that five after today and the team really with major problems at the back they've now conceded 13 goals in three games Nice how results go because uh, I think up to the Wimbledon match a couple of weeks ago they hadn't been beaten at uh, Stamford Bridge since last September so they've really gone to the dogs in the last few weeks. Uh, what a good performance by Liverpool. And I think you know, Gillespie and uh, Stanton, Nicol, uh, not in the side. And they still can feel the team like they have done really outplaying Chelsea as much as they have done today. And this is also Liverpool without John Barnes. Sorry, James. <laughs> I knew there was a little player. I couldn't think who it was. <laughs> Clark. Ablett just not able to keep it in play. Steve Clark. Most impressive seconds in the view of his own supporters. Dickens. Clark again. Hit the cross in all right. Somehow it sailed all the way through the defence and through those at the attacking station as well. And out for a throw to Liverpool on the far side of the field. Steve Clark coming in that. And leading nowhere in the end. Gary Abbott. Alan Hansen. That's 
Hussein. Roberts head in the way and Lee there as well. Jury. Dixon. Deligo. Overlapping is Moncar. But he's now out of position. And Liverpool can counter with Venison. Played through the gap for Beardsley against Roberts. Beardsley fell down himself on that occasion. But now it's Venison. Rush. And eventually tidied up by Clark. But all of that beginning with an unfortunate overlap by the centre half and a pass that didn't reach him. And Liverpool were straight back in. Jury. Clyde Wilson. Lee. Clark attacking up the wing. Ablett with the challenge. Clark once again. Looking across, Dixon unable to get there. Jury has it. Out of the way by Back it comes again. And Whelan once more in the thick of the action. Being impeded, said the referee George Courtney. Free kick to Liverpool. Beardsley. Free kick. Not taken from the correct position. Chelsea will have a chance to regroup. Liverpool should just pick it up a bit now, uh, just at this stage in the game, because there's a fair bit to go yet, and they've just got a little bit sleep and a little, little bit casual by their standards because of the because of the state of the game. Keep the pass and pass nice and crisp, but look to get another goal because there's plenty of goals there for them if they want to go and get them. That's the directing operations. Abbott, rush, nicely right Lee. Runs in the middle, that's for him. Moncow got there first. And they can switch from this relaxed, composed style into rapier-like attack in seconds, just as they did then. And then they look so lethal. And Kenneth Moncow back to make the interception. But Liverpool are playing like they're playing and they're passing the ball well. There's no better team uh, in the country, there's no doubt about that. And no better team to watch. In my opinion, I love uh, watching Liverpool run in full flow. Passing's good. Uh, play it up to Rush and Beardsley, get through on the goals. Really excellent stuff and uh, brilliant to watch. That's Mulby's corner. Dorigo. Dixon, the only Chelsea player forward. It's meant for Jury. Another slack pass. Houghton. There's no offside, but the pass was too long. Wheeling in to win it back for Liverpool. Houghton. Man. Mulby. Whelan. And now Ablett. Mulby. Hussein, Whelan, Chelsea try to attack themselves. Jury head forward to Dixon, run back by Venison, and it's come to Clark. Clark for Lee. Back again by Whelan. Ablett. Here's the inside it. Rushed further across. He was trying to pick up Houghton, running from the back. But that slack play by Chelsea has given it back to Houghton. Whelan to Ablett. To McMahon. To Beardsley. And 
Sean Moby. Beardsley, Moby again. Hansen. The same. Whelan, what a great ball, but it's offside against Ablett. There can't have been very much in that. 11 passes strung together by Liverpool, and then Whelan spotting Ablett on the run up the wing. But the run must just have been marginally too swift. He can afford to joke with the cameraman at the Fulham Road end. Well, they're certainly enjoying themselves as Liverpool players, and I better mind than Rob Allard to climb around. That was a brilliant ball from Ronnie Whelan. I, I didn't think he was offside there at all. Uh, Whelan has done his usual uh, brilliant job for Liverpool this afternoon. He's won all the loose ones again. Again, not a very attractive job because he's getting the one that's getting a little toe poke. There's again winning it in the air. Whenever defensive stuff has to be done around the middle of the field, he's been the one that's winning it more than anybody else. And more than willing to, ta to go into the attack as well and link it up and uh, get, get them going up front. But it's his stuff around the middle of the field that's uh, great for Liverpool. He wins any loose balls when they're making an attack. Chelsea, he's the one that's going to win it. Beardsley losing out there to Lee. David Lee spending a lot of time making forward runs now in the hope of salvaging a lost cause. Clark. Jury. Wilson. Jury. Bumpstead. Uh, Dixon, rather. He has won the corner. Kerry Dixon would love to get his name on the score sheet to make it look less embarrassing from a Chelsea point of view. Again, two old lads have gone forward. Kenneth Morcar, David Lee. Clive Wilson takes the corner. But Dixon there! And Jury just can't force it home. And Liverpool survive. And that, the closest Chelsea have come to scoring in any shape or form since Jury scored that from that free kick. They have another free kick, but it just wouldn't go in for them. Now it's Clark. Out off the back of Moby, and a corner to Chelsea. I think Grobelar was all over the place there, and uh, he's coming out, and he's going back, and there uh, he's not... Could have looked there, because... Uh, Apple tried to clear it with his right foot and it broke up across the goal from which was close a lot of Liverpool players there. That's the way it goes for Chelsea. When it's not your day, it's not your day. And uh, things like that. If it's, if it's really gone for you, stick him in the back of the net. Dixon. But who was the man who tackled him? Ronnie Whelan. Dorigo. Wilson. Still it's Wilson. A challenge from Gary Ablett has gone for another corner. Ironically enough, it was Peter Beardsley who affected the clearance, the ultimate clearance, to prevent it going to 4-2. It stays 4-1 to Liverpool and just under a quarter of an hour to go. Wilson takes it. The best that Chelsea can have from it is a throw. Look, Wilson has done well for Chelsea today. He's been one of the better players and he hasn't been in the team regularly this season. He was a good player and, and he's the one, one of the few players that's really come out of this game with any credit from Chelsea's point of view. On the ball once more. Roberts pumping it back into the penalty area. Dixon underneath it. But it was Hussein's head that got nearest to it. Now McMahon and Rush is free and Liverpool of four against two here. Beardsley, one of those making ground through the middle. It's Rush laying it back to Houghton. Oh, what a goal! terrible decision by the linesman nobody could have been interfering with play that he struck it extremely well first time on his right foot and what he's done the linesman is give offside against Beersley who was in front of the ball right enough now the ball just whistled past uh, best in that position I think that's a dreadful decision from the linesman to do that Beersley couldn't have been interfered with the play shot it straight into the back of the net it's a beautiful goal Clark and back at the other end Grobelar makes a simple save well, it may not have counted, but it was certainly one well worth recalling. A brilliant build-up through Rush. 
Watch when he plays at square here. Now Houghton comes on to it. Now watch where Beardsley is. Besson didn't put Besson off in any way whatsoever. It was a beautiful strike and he hit it well with his left foot. So, nearly increasing his tally for the season by 200%. He simply increased it 100%. First goal of the season earlier on in the match. Less spectacular than that. Sadly, that one doesn't count. Now from the back, Hansen to Ablett. Rushes in the middle. Ablett curls it towards him and rushes there. And that is number five. Watch Russia produce here. He just going in and then he pulls off the defender to make his position. And Ablett saw him just pulling away there. He's had a look to see him pull away. He's floated it. That's just made a position for Rush. He's pulled, he was in near the goals and that. He pulled away from it to give Ablett the chance to get the ball over to him. He didn't have finish the right way. Finish. Great stuff, Campbell. Absolutely brilliant. I think probably uh, Campbell will have nightmares about this match for a long time. That says it all, doesn't it? And so ends the longest spell in the game without a goal. We've gone 27 minutes without having the net ruffled. But Ian Rush settled that. And now Liverpool welcome back Steve Nicholl. Nicholl, who's played only one of the last nine matches. He's had an injury problem. But he's now come on for a taste of the action for the last what, 11 minutes or so. And quite right too. Stretch the legs. What an ideal matchup to come back into, and the team is winning like they are doing. The exhibition stuff now, they can really get the pace of it and feel it feel it good. I think a nightmare for any player now would be coming on as uh, sub for Chelsea. So Steve Nicholl is on, Ian Moby is off, and Nicholl is already in the action, and he's won a corner. Not long involved, and forces Graham Roberts into the challenge that gives Liverpool the corner. Steve Nicholl takes it himself. Ablett now. Houghton succeeding in winning it back. Chelsea succeed in winning it back from him. Hussein. Whelan. And now Rush. Ablett. And Nicholl. Too close to Bessens. Wilson. Dixon, Jury. Winston and Dickens. Clark, Lee. has watched his team score nine goals in their last two away matches and on Sports Stadium you've seen them all at the top of the first division Liverpool are really bubbling not quite top and they're going to ship another one here knocked away by Hussein and it just won't run for Chelsea out of that one good challenge by Alan Dickens though Lee Wilson and Wilson with the shot which sailed over the bar I think if Chelsea get away with 5-1 here they won't be uh, unhappy about it because they've had a perfect or looked like a perfectly good goal that's allowed and a penalty kick uh, saved so the scoreline doesn't 
accurately reflect the climate of it today because as an unhappy man as sometimes teams go right high in today and really haven't shown the spirit uh, that you would expect from a team that's trying to get back on the rails again. Well, Gary Lineker's among the goals at Old Trafford. Encouraging news for Tottenham fans who haven't had that much to be happy about. The team battling to move above a mid-table position. Arch rivals from across North London Arsenal have been lording it at the top of Division 1. Tony Cascarino among the goals at the Den and not a good result, or not a good scoreline certainly for Aston Villa. Villa of course at 11 on points with Liverpool at the start of this. But it now looks like a straight dogfight next weekend for position at the top of the table between Liverpool and Arsenal we will of course be seeing Liverpool in action next Saturday early kickoff at Anfield which we'll be visiting to bring you Liverpool against Manchester United live from there Manchester United 1-0 down to Tottenham today we'll have difficulty living with Liverpool if this irresistible form is continued so that's live on a sports stadium special next Saturday at 12.30. Have your lunch to it. And then the following week, we're at Villa Park for the visit of the current league leaders, Arsenal. So lots of top soccer to see us through the rest of December on sports stadium. And this afternoon, with just five minutes to go at Stamford Bridge, Chelsea 1, Liverpool 5. total of goals against to 14 in the last three league matches for Chelsea there's something seriously amiss from the defence it's Rush a good ball to Beardsley Nicholas outside Beardsley going on the run himself and left two players standing in his wake couldn't make it all the way there and he had two men in the middle exhibition stuff from Liverpool Clark McMahon nicked it back and he's finally got it and the opportunity to do something really constructive which he's done Houghton racing onto this and it's Ray Houghton still pulled back for Ablett so the angle was a little wrong there so they'll have to do it again Whelan Nicole and Beardsley all alone and Beardsley denied by Besant and Houghton just couldn't get there well, I think Rush is not too pleased about that I think when Beardsley went to pull it inside I think Rush was in a great position to be knocked across the goal uh, but it wasn't a bad effort it's like five aside now for Liverpool so he can score the goals I think if we can see Rush here when, when Beardsley pulls it inside and he pretends to hit it Rush is in a great position just out there I don't think he was too pleased about it but Besant made a good save and uh, Liverpool are just playing outside maybe. If they, get, if they can get another goal, they'll get it. But if they, if they don't, they won't be too bothered at all. Whelan. Now Nicol. Chelsea attempt to salvage something at this late stage. Wilson. Was Bumstead. This is Nickel. Whelan to Rush. We have to wait till the support arrives. And Rush obstructed by Moncao. It's Free kick to Liverpool, indirect free kick. And they've Rush up, they've Beardsley up, they've Glenn Hussein up, and they've Steve Nicholl too. Out and leaving it. Struck firmly to the back post, but rather too firmly.
goal kick is what was it? The free kick wasn't Ronnie Whelan's best effort of the afternoon. But it's been a thoroughly satisfactory afternoon for him in every other respect. And for Bruce Grobelar, danger of uh, being charged at admission fee for this match. He's watched so much of it. Well, I think Bruce will be fooling around there. He's, he's plenty of goals in the bag to do so. And uh, he's watched an excellent performance by his team. And uh, Chelsea have made it easy for him. They gave too many silly goals away early on. But full credit to Liverpool for punishing them and then doing their own stuff to score good goals as well. Taking the goals brilliantly. Every goal they've taken, is, every goal they've scored, they've taken really well. It's Ablett to Rush with just 90 seconds to go. It's still Ian Rush. The ball's still in play. The pass to Beardsley was not quite inch perfect. And Chelsea look at the yawning chasm of a second successive five goal home defeat fortnight ago Wimbledon came here and inflicted the first defeat on Chelsea at Stamford Bridge in 14 months that's unquestionably two in a row and both of them have involved five goals it's Chelsea's worst defeat at Stamford Bridge unquestionably this season four goal margin it's by some considerable way their worst defeat in all of the season, but at the end of it they get a goal from Kerry Dixon. I think Bruce was asleep there. I love Dixon hit it well when we see it. I think Bruce should have stopped it. I think his concentration's gone as probably a lot of the Liverpool players have. But Dixon has played well. And when, he, when this is knocked down to him, he catches it well on the volley. I, I do think that uh, Bruce should have stopped that. Well, it's exactly the same as two weeks ago. Kerry Dixon through Bruce Grobelar, making it 5-2. And Chelsea's top scorer gets his ninth of the season in the very last minute of the contest. The ironic cheers around Stamford Bridge for that because it was virtually the last action of the half. Two consecutive 5-2 defeats for Chelsea at Stamford Bridge Steve McMahon so influential through the whole of the match but getting the first of Liverpool's second half goals Ian Rush got the second of their second half goals and then right at the finish there was Kerry Dixon to get another consolation for Chelsea two goals in the first five minutes for Liverpool from Beardsley and Rush then Gordon Jury pulled it back to 2-1 before Ray Houghton scored an exquisite goal to make it 3-1 before the break Beardsley pulled down for a penalty missed by Mulby saved by Besant but then Liverpool ran riot and left it finishing up like that final score at Stamford Bridge a thoroughly convincing victory for Liverpool by five